So this is the Boca Tongue Scraper. It's designed so that it easily fits in the back and you just pull that debris forward. Yep. Hello and welcome back to Smilebox. I'm your host, Dr. Bridget White, and I'm here to help you reach your smile goal one product at a time. Before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know to go ahead and subscribe by clicking the button below and make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now, in terms of our Smilebox giveaway, you're gonna to have to head over to my website, drbridgetwhite.com, and make sure that you sign up so you don't miss this giveaway. Today, we're gonna to talk about a really interesting topic that a lot of people don't wanna talk about, but everybody knows what's happening when they smell it. All right, and that's bad breath. Like, what is bad breath? Is it normal? It's completely normal because it occurs naturally from the breakdown of food. The bacteria that live in our mouth use our food to create a foul smelling sulfur compound. And when we do smell it, it makes us think something's wrong. Most people respond by freshening up, brushing their teeth, rinsing their mouth, chewing gum, something that's gonna help them alleviate that bad breath. But I wanna talk to you about why this bad breath sticks around a little bit longer than some people would like. And that's really because of where it likes to live. We have taste buds all over our mouth, but primarily those taste buds are on the back of our tongue. So the taste buds are sitting there and they actually naturally slough off, okay? So just by virtue of chewing and swallowing and speaking, your taste buds will naturally slough off. However, sometimes those taste buds stick around too long and the bacteria like to colonize or get comfortable on those taste buds. So what can you do? Well, two things. You need to kill the bacteria and you need to remove that debris from the back of your mouth. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is an agent that you can actually use to kill the bacteria. All right, this is a product that you could probably get at your dental office or you could probably find it online. It's by Philips Sonicare and it's a solution that actually kills the bacteria. So if you just by virtue of rinsing with this twice a day, you're going to actually neutralize that bacteria that creates the bad breath. The other thing that you can do is you actually wanna scrape your tongue, okay? So this is the Boca Tongue Scraper. I love this tongue scraper. It's designed so that it easily fits in the back and you just pull that debris forward. The other thing is it's really good for the environment. You can recycle it, wash it. I do recommend tooth brushing and rinsing and flossing as good oral hygiene measures. And you know, when you go in for your dental checkup, ask the dentist, you know, let them know that your bad breath is causing a problem because sometimes bad breath could be from a rotten tooth and it could also be a sign of other underlying health conditions. Often bad breath occurs you know, from medications that we are taking and it can also be uh, connected to pre-existing health conditions. So whether you're going in to see your physician or your dentist, you wanna make sure that you talk about the symptom of bad breath, okay? Because it really isn't a secret. If you know you have it, we know you have it. And we just want you to make some good decisions so that you can bring your best smile forward. All right, thanks for tuning in to Smilebox and I'll see you next time.